We now come. We now come to the SNP motion on Gaza. I think it's important on this occasion that the House is able to consider the widest possible range of options. I have therefore decided to select the amendments both in the name of the Prime Minister and in the name of the Leader of the Opposition. Perfectly legitimate views on different sides as to the propriety of today's proceedings. However, I would just say gently to some honourable members opposite who have said that you cannot possibly have an opposition day motion being amended by another opposition party, that some of the members who are shouting the loudest Leader of the House. It also appears from the advice of his clerk that the decision is taken against the long standing and established processes and procedures of this House, and that the consequences may be that Government is not able to respond to Opposition Day motions, and as such, the Government does not have confidence that it will be able to vote on its own motion. For that reason, the Government will play no further part in the decision this House takes on today's proceedings. Taking that, I will. No, no. I'm, no. question is that the House do sit in private. As many as are of that opinion say aye. I regret how oh, it's ended up. It was not my intention. I wanted the all. I wanted all to ensure they could express their views and all sides of the House could vote. As it was, in particular, the <coughs> SNP were ultimately unable to vote on their proposition. I am and I regret with the deep with my sadness that it's ended up on like that in this position that was never my intention for it to end up like this. I was absolutely, absolutely convinced that the decision was done with the right intention.